Hi friends, Steve Rondinero, ready to shine that 50th retro spotlight again today. In drum corps, music is motion. Yep, we're going to zoom in on the visual. Marching was pretty straightforward back in the early days of drum corps. Literally. Get off the line, down the field, split the 50 with squads and the occasional front, and you had a drill. Then this building engineer named Jim Jones out in Casper, Wyoming started tinkering with a traditional in the late 60s and gave us something we'd never seen before. A young Pete Emmons was part of it. When we did the sunburst, it was another one of those iconic moves that you had no idea how it was going to be received and it was received incredibly well. Flags in the middle opening up like a pedal. It was uh, it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. He was he was a brilliant visual designer. And that's when the marching mold really got broken. Things were already percolating when the Garfield Cadets formed a peace sign on the field in the No More War show in '71, while the Cavaliers were out creating a circus on the field. Meanwhile, back east, Ralph Pace had gone from Pink Elephants with DCI founding core Blue Rock from Delaware to the 27th Lancers in 1975. As DCI loosened the restrictions on show design, Pace was looking for ways to go even further. What aren't the rules saying? <laughs> that's, and that's what we're going to go for. Where, where's the gray area I can play with? Yeah, and that's basically what we did. Drum Corps was nothing but theater on a the field. When most corps were entering the field from the center, the Lancers came in from the left corner. They pushed tempos, physically leaned into the music, gave us some great guard moves, and perhaps one of the most iconic musical marching moments of its time. I said, I know exactly where the people are going to get up, scream, rain, and rave, They're going to, it's going to work. It worked. A resurgent 27th Lancer Corps jumped to fourth that year. So many great drill moves have evolved in the years since. Pete Emmons and the Santa Clara Vanguard broke the bounds of symmetry out west with eye-pleasing revolutionary results as the 80s dawned. George Zingali z pole with the cadets broke another mold. In the Midwest, Steve Brubaker's Cavalier set geometry in motion. A young Cavalier named Michael Gaines was soaking it all in. He really brought a sense of composition to everything. Um, the, the detail, the, the artistry, the use of all the elements to uh, create the composition and the unity that, uh, that he's so known for. As drill moves continue to evolve and drill writers move from dots on graph paper to computers, Michael Gaines began making his own magic as the Cavalier's designer, the diamond cutter. And the idea was really simple. It was just a way to, um, you know, create motion within a form itself. So you would have a form moving, and then you'd also have that second layer of motion within. The moves in the staging continue to evolve. In drum corps, music and movement can make magic, sometimes amazingly so, as we continue to push the boundaries of the possible. I would love to, to create a show like the Super Bowl halftime or, or those kind of things for the huge arenas, but that takes a lot of resources to do. So, you know, we, we as, a, as an activity need to decide, can we continue going that way? Hey, who knows where the next 50 years will take us?